We have a freaking erupting volcano right in front of us. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Philippines. Today we are in Dunsol in the Bicol region of the Philippines and we are going to be bringing you a pretty crazy video. This region is packed with things to do including an erupting volcano that's currently going off, a whale shark experience, but we're going to be working with an awesome company for this video. DJI, it's the company that makes the drones, have sent me this. This is the Osmo Mobile 2, the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 and we're going to be switching in a second to this and showing you guys how it works and some of the cool things we do with it. Oh, and we've jumped over to the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Now, I'm on a gimbal, and look at me. I'm completely stabilized, folks. So this thing is a gimbal. What a gimbal does is essentially keeps your phone or whatever camera is in it stabilized so you can walk, you can walk on rough terrain, you can do whatever you want and jump around. And we're staying smooth and nice and slow. So this area of the Philippines is actually completely underrated when it comes to tourism. Yesterday, we actually got a chance to visit the infamous Mayon volcano that's been erupting for the last month. And in a minute, I'll be showing you guys some of the footage from that. Hold on, we got some stairs, but that's not an issue because we're all stabilized. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. We actually come on down to the Whale Shark Center here, and it's just, this place is just views upon views upon views. It's beautiful out here. Look at that. Beautiful beach, beautiful sand, beautiful mountains, beautiful islands. But I say we should jump to yesterday where we filmed some awesome things with a volcano. How about we do that right now? Let's go. My favorite feature of this entire device is the hyperlapse feature. I've been trying to get hyperlapses done since I've started doing YouTube and, and videos in general, and I've never been able to do it before this device. A hyperlapse is essentially a time lapse of you walking. It keeps it stabilized and it keeps it smooth. And so I'm gonna show you guys what a hyperlapse here looks like. A hyperlapse that we filmed in the volcano yesterday, and I'll just play you some hyperlapse footage right now of this cool area. that one of my second favorite features of this thing is a motion time lapse. And so right now I'm gonna show you guys what a motion time lapse looks like. And that is essentially a time lapse that that's moving. The device will actually start tilting the camera in a certain direction that I want to by setting these points and it'll keep moving for the entire duration of the time lapse. So you can get these amazing time lapses with the camera actually moving. We're gonna do that right now for the volcano with the clouds. Everybody's gathered around. We did a drone flight too, but that's the volcano behind me, and you can now clearly see it. And there's actually been some lava that spewed out of there. I think you mentioned the fact that we have a DJI drone right now, and we're gonna pull you guys up into the sky so you can see this thing from above you, which is amazing. <laughs> DJI has actually implemented a really cool feature in the Osmo Mobile 2 where you can plug in a lightning cable or any type of connection to your phone and actually charge it and use it as a power bank because sometimes you run out of battery, which I'm about to run out of battery. I'm at like 11% right now. So I'm going to actually charge my phone straight from the Osmo. I don't need to take it off and charge it somewhere else. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug it in so we can still get a view of this amazing volcano. It's erupting and there's lava coming out right now. So we're going to try to film that and I want to run out of battery. Right behind here, we have the input for the cable uh, and we're gonna plug it in just like that we're gonna get our cable in and then we're gonna plug it into the bottom and the only thing we're gonna have to do is rebalance the gimbal but that's easy to do after you learn how to do it and just like that we'll have a charging iPhone while we're still recording and we never have to take it off the gimbal and we'll turn her on when Osmo 2 comes back to life 
now we have a charging phone and we can continue exactly where we left off. So guys, just to take a look at another cool feature, because this thing connects in Bluetooth to your phone, you can actually, on the controller itself, use the zoom button that it comes with to zoom in straight to this thing. You guys see the lava? Look at that. It's not the highest quality because it's dark, but check that out. That's lava right there from a volcano. We have a freaking erupting volcano right in front of us. All right, guys, we have finished with the volcano. We're gonna hop in the car now. Anyhow, we're now going to focus on the panorama feature. So essentially, this DJI Osmo Mobile 2 has three panorama features. It can take a 180 degree picture, so it takes kind of like a widespread of a panorama, what you're used to on most devices. Then it can take a 330 degree, so almost 360 degrees, almost a full circle of a panorama. It's a super, super wide panorama. It gets a lot of detail, a lot of pictures. And then we can take a nine image stitched picture panorama. It's very cool. So imagine one panorama going three pictures to the side. You'll have nine pictures, one in the top, one in the middle, and one in the bottom, three images each, three by three. It's, it's freaking cool. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are now recording the screen of our phone. So we're gonna go into the DJI Go app. Okay, so now we're in the app. I'm gonna go over to the photo mode up here and I have the option to select a panorama. And within the panorama, we have the 180, 330, and then the nine image stitched image. So here we go, this is our 180 panorama, and we're gonna take a picture. And as you can see, it's moving the camera place by place to take one big old panorama. All right, next we're gonna head over to the 330 degree panorama, and this one's gonna be real big. Okay, there we go. It's gonna open up super wide. Hi, there, it's me. And it's gonna go one. It's gonna go two. It's gonna go three. And when it's done, we'll come back full circle. It'll process the image for us. And then we have our enormous panorama. And if you zoom into this, you see here's my face taking up most of the image for no reason. And then uh, just a super, super wide image, which is awesome. And the last one, which I think is my favorite, is the three by three stitched image. Here we go. This is by far, I think, the coolest photo feature of this thing. One, two, three. So now it's scanned three down to the bottom. It's gonna go up to the middle, straighten itself out, and then scan again. One, two, and a three. And then one more up, and scan that boy up. And we're gonna go through our normal processing. And then we got a super, it looks like a normal image to you right now, but if you zoom in, we got extra amounts of detail because this thing is huge. And the thing lasts for 15 hours on a battery. Like it's way more than the Osmo One, for, but it's like a ridiculous amount of time. I think I'm just gonna have to forget charging it because it's just never gonna run out of battery. I've been using it for three days now without stopping. So as you can see by the giant whale shark statue behind me, we're actually in a little beach resort that we jumped to. We're gonna show you guys some of the slow-mo feature of the Osmo Mobile 2 because uh, this thing actually packs some slow-mo in it. And uh, we think no better way to do that than by the beach. Guys, check out this amazing volcanic beach. It's all, all for us, all by ourselves. It's super quiet here, there's no one else. Oh, look who it is. Oh, hello. Mr. Sakai and Co himself. How are you doing? The motorcycle genius. Borja, we need some help. We wanna get some slow motion footage with this DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Can you help us out? And 
and we are back on the beach, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I love this place so much. So this is gonna be the end of our time here with the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Guys, please go send DJI some love. Down in the description below, you'll find a link. DJI also wanted me to mention to you guys that this Osmo Mobile 2 is being sold at a much, much cheaper price than the Osmo Mobile 1 or the Osmo in general. So make sure that you check it out in the description down below. Don't forget, that link will be down there. They have been nice enough to send me one of these devices before it's available. It was so much fun to work with them and to film this video out here in the Bicol region of the Philippines. If you're wondering how we just jumped to Bicol because we were in the middle of a road trip, this is just a one video from the future. We will be bouncing back to our regularly scheduled content from our road trip with Borja and Daphne in just the next video. So this was just a little jump forward into the future. Expect big things from the Bicol region when these vlogs come out because this was an awesome video to shoot. The fact that we got to see an erupting volcano and film it on the Osmo Mobile 2 killer it was something i planned on doing and i can't believe i actually accomplished it but it looks like the weather out here is going to go back to being a little crappy so we're going to end this video here before it gets any worse we're going to enjoy that sunny weather while we can because <laughs> it looks like a storm's approaching and we will see you guys next time maybe a little less stabilized because we won't be using the osmo but love you long time class don't forget to make sure to check out dji and send them love and we'll see you next time Bye bye